Okay, team, here's what's been happening on Ghost Rider. The facts. First... This is great stuff, you guys. You're gonna love it. The Ghost Rider team entered this cool Hoodman comic book contest. The one that gets to star in a comic book. Hey, I can go for that. Hoodman is this guy who fights injustice, intolerance, and people with bad attitudes. Most of the time, he's a regular kid, but he wears this special sweatshirt. And when he puts up the hood, he becomes super strong, bulletproof, and really fast. He becomes Hoodman. And the contest is like a scavenger hunt around the neighborhood. What a great map. Yeah, and it's got all the possible places to go in the contest. The team has to figure out which places to go by finding clues that are hidden in four Hoodman comic book panels. And whoever gets to the fourth place first wins the contest? Right. So, the team read the first panel. Boat, salt, Dr. Kill. And I've got the wishing stone, Mr. Hunter. Some of the words are darker than the others. They're in bold. Bones, Boat, Hunter, and Walt Whitman. So they checked the clues with the information sheets and finally figured out the first place to go. The place has got to be Prison Ship Modern's Monument. Bones, Boat, Hunter, Walt Whitman. We got it down, all right. This is it. A brand new panel, number two. It looks like the Ghost Rider team is off to a great start, but the competition is hot on their trail. We're gonna win this, baby! Can the team keep their lead? And just how far will some contestants go to win? Shell offs. I deal with you my own special way. Get a pencil in your casebook out and keep track of the clues, because the Ghost Rider team is on the case. <laughs> What in the world? Reach the contest now. Prepare to suffer. Oh man, this comic is no joke. Quit the contest now, or prepare to suffer. I want to star in a comic, but not like this. Who would do this to us? Somebody with a major bad attitude. Which would make him or her a case for Hood Man. Or for us. Maybe it's somebody that doesn't want us to win. Probably because they want to win. Hey, what about those two kids at the monument? We're going to win this, baby! See you behind us! I don't know. You seem too confident to stoop to something like this. Hey, wait a minute. Look here. You see these letters? Yeah. They could stand for the name of the person who drew this. Man E. Man could be the first name, and E could be the initial of the last name. Or it could stand for a whole different thing. Like a code. I'm writing this down. This could be the first clue to who this person is. And I know how you can start searching for it. Ghost Rider. I guess we're not quitting the contest. No way. Hoodman would never let some jerk with a bad attitude stand in his way. Neither would Ghost Rider. So we shouldn't either. And yet, the emperor of the sidewalk doesn't go home when you do. Instead, he stares down the night in a shelter or a park while darkness dances in his eyes and strives to swallow up his heart. And pointed patterns of his past weave textured tapestries of home. Sweet smells of wondrous meals, caressing comfort of his own bed. No! Because the emperor of the sidewalk's true kingdom is only mapped out in his head. Terrific, Tommy. 
Thank you for sharing some of your poems with us. Thanks for having me. All right, everyone. The next writer's reading is in four weeks. Can I have a couple of copies? Thank you. Would you like one? Thank you. Oh. Um, mister? Double T. Double T? It's the name I go by. It's short for Tommy Trueborn. I liked your poems, especially that last one. What is it that you liked about it? It was real. Like you caught the feeling of not having a house to go home to. Well, I don't have a house to go home to. You mean you're homeless? Yep. Well, then how'd you get to read here? I was invited. Miss Lewis, she saw me writing and selling some poems on a street corner. Well, like I said, you write really great poems. <laughs> well, like I said, thanks. I, I want to be a writer someday. I'm just a beginner, though. Well, why don't you come down to my corner? Check out what I do, where I hang. Thanks. I will. Thursday. Today, I met a homeless poet. Hey, Robbie. Your mom tells me she went to the youth center today, huh? Yeah, I went to... I know. You finally decided to try out for the baseball team. Now, what position? I didn't try out for the baseball team, Dad. What were you doing there? I was at a poetry workshop. A what? A poetry workshop. And there was this man there. Well, what have you got against baseball, son? Nothing. Uh, you were a fine athlete. I just, I like sports, Dad. But? I just don't feel like being on any teams right now. Listen, being a part of an athletic team is a vital part of every boy, every, everyone's development. I know, Dad. So, <laughs> what's the problem? Huh? Well, I, I... Listen, I know that... When we were moving around so much, it must have been hard to be part of an athletic team, but it's not going to happen anymore. I'm out of the Air Force now, and we're pretty much settled down here, okay? So baseball, basketball... Writing? Doesn't sound like much of a team sport to me, son. Listen, have you done your homework yet? No, sir. Better get to it. What's the use? Hey, Lenny, it's us. We're here. I'm ready for that second hood man panel. Mad cartoonist or no mad cartoonist? What happened to your crutches? Oh, I traded them in for a newer model. His ankle got a whole lot better. Great. Hey, food. It'll help us work on the panel better. No, not Alex. He can't even think at the same time. Yeah, well, you can't think at all. Come on, you guys. The contest. The panel. Oh, man. This is no sweat. In fact, it's a sure bet. <laughs> Manny! Yes, Aunt Wilhelmina? Would you make a run to the neat and clean cleaners for me, please? Can I go later this evening? Well, as long as you get there before it closes. <laughs> Call me Stoop Dude, cause I'm in the mood. And now, to get to the next contest location, and on the side, get rid of some more kid competition. <laughs> okay, let's read this one more time. All right, so it's Dr. Kilner's Thuggies getting away with the viable wishing stone. And then... Hoodman gets down. Okay, what next? While Hoodman fights the thugs, Dr. Kill skates away. You'll never catch me, Hoodman! Ha ha ha! <laughs> so what are the clues that'll lead us to the next place on the map? Let's see now. Okay, well, the first correct place was the prison ship martyrs' monument. Now, according to the rules, each place can only be correct once. 
So that leaves us with the aquarium, Coney Island Amusement Park, the boathouse, and the Brooklyn Academy of Music. Four places. Let's check the information about these places again. I've got something already. What? Bam. Bam? Yeah. B-A-M. That's short for Brooklyn Academy of Music. It says so right here. The Brooklyn Academy of Music, also known as BAM. And look at the third frame of the panel. BAM, POW, and UMF. BAM isn't in bold. So? All the clues in the first panel were in bold. And there's stuff in bold in the second one. I'll write them down. This is an ice cream cone. But only the cone is in bold. Here's the letter E, and a picture of an I, the letter L, and a picture of a hand, and what's this? Uh, minus H, I guess. But where are the words? Hey, I think I've got something. This is a cone. The second clue is E, cone E. Say that fast. Coney. Coney Island. I think this is a rebus. Um, what's the rebus? A puzzle where pictures and letters stand for words. Let's check the rest of the clues, just to make sure they fit. Cone plus E plus I plus L. It's working. Plus hand. And hand is spelled H-A-N-D. Han minus H is and. L plus and is land. Coney Island. That's one of the places on the map. Let's hit it. Fine forested trails, crisp, cool mountain air, those clearly are the things for you. But since a business suit hangs poised at home to wrap you on your rat race way, jogging along these scorching city streets is your best kept freedom of the day. Thanks. Hey, there he is. I remember you. The youth center, right? Yeah. Hi. You buying today? Sorry, I don't have any money. I can relate to that. Poem! Instant poem! Just a dollar. I'll wrap some valiant verse around your every mood. I'll give bold expression to your heart's desire, your dormant fires. Poems! Poems! It's amazing. What is? I can just stand here on the corner and call out to people like this. If I don't call out, they won't stop. Besides, it's not as easy as it looks. Speaking of which, you look sort of down. What's up? Have you ever... Ever had trouble explaining to someone what you feel about something? Uh, lots. What'd you do? Well, that's a tough one. Is this somebody, someone you care a lot about? Uh-huh. Did you ever try writing it down? It can help you figure out what you want to say. And it's better than talking sometimes, because you can work on it until you get it right. Yeah, but then what? It's still just on paper. But then you give the paper to the person. That'd be really scary. Yeah, but this is somebody that you care a lot about, remember? Excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am, may I compose a poem for you today? Just a dollar. It's only one dollar. A special customized poem for you. Only for you. Here, come here, take a look. I'll do this for you. I'll be a fly with only half a wing. They're still in the contest. But they'll never get by me this time. Now where? Yeah, the special agent could be anywhere in the park. You got that right. The special agent is out of sight. Who are you? Stoop Dude's the name. Serving humanity is my game. Stoop Dude. Up close and in person, 
Now, I couldn't help but notice that you're all in desperate need of a special agent of the cosmic comic variety. Am I right, or am I right? So, do you know where he is? Of course I do. She just laid the third panel on me. Aren't you a little old to be in this contest? Oh, I'm as cool and lean as a sweet 16 jelly bean. So where's the special agent? Well, you head straight on up to that wondrous wonder wheel, right on through that funnel of a tunnel, and there she'll be for all to see. Well, thanks for the tip. Let's go. Have a nice trip. Suckers. <laughs> a funny feeling about this. Me too. That weird drawing of us said, quit the contest now or prepare to suffer. Yo, guys. Where'd you hide the special agent? Nowhere. Then how come we can't find him? Well, it wasn't our fault. Wait a minute. Were you sent here by a skinny black guy wearing a cap and an orange sweater? Yeah. Stupid dude. Stupid dude, all right. He was smart enough to lead us in the wrong direction. Yeah, because he wanted to win the contest. Let's go. Yeah! Let's go! Here's our cosmic clue book. And here's ours. Great. We were sent on a wild goose chase by this guy named Stoop Dude. Who? He was wearing this crazy hat and this big orange sweatshirt that had the letters SD on it. Oh, yeah, I remember him. We'll keep an eye out. Come in. Hey. This uh, magazine came for you today. Thanks. Well. Dad? Yes, sir. This is for you. What is it? Read it. Please. When light falls from my eyes to my words on the page, my brain lights up with their power. It's as sharp a feeling as kicking a goal or sinking a basket, as mysterious as knocking a baseball high over a fence. As exciting as finishing a long distance race. When I write, I see better, I know more. This is very good. Thanks. You like writing, don't you, son? Yeah, Dad, I really do. Can I uh, keep this? Sure. I wrote it for you. You did, huh? Well, thanks. I'll see you later. Congratulations. Hey, if you win, maybe you could sneak me into the comic book with you. I could be El Eduardo, champion of the poor. <laughs> Guys. Manny, MHS 88. All the right moves. Maybe Ghostwriter found this Manny person. You better write this down. I know I've seen MHS somewhere before. Maybe 88 could be a year. You know, like 1988. Or a car, a Delta 88. Maybe it's a radio station. 
Manny. Manny. Hey, maybe E doesn't stand for last name, but maybe it's like a rebus. And when you say it together, you get Manny. Right. Now I remember where I've seen MHS before. On my brother Twan's t-shirt. It stands for a school. Mead High School. If that's the case, then 88 could be the graduating class of 1988. If your brother could get us a yearbook from that year, it might have this Manny person's full name and picture. I'll check with him, then hook up with Jamal. This is for you. Me? Yeah. What for? Or help me out. You know, about writing stuff down and all. Thanks, kid. Rob. Rob. So I take it you, you gave what you wrote down to that certain person? Uh-huh. And he understood? I think so, I guess. Fathers can be like that sometimes. How'd you know it was my father? Because I've been a father. You aren't a father anymore? <laughs> it's a long, boring story. Well, I gotta go. Thanks again. Well, sure thing. And thank you, Rob, for being so friendly toward me. Friends are important. Even for the double T's in this world. Man, I wonder how people could look so out of date so fast. Maybe that's what high school does to you. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Yep. There's an index in here with all the seniors' names in it. Maybe we can check it for Manny's. Hey, how about asking Ghost Rider to help us? this Manny person will know who sent the threatening cartoon. He's writing already. No Manny. Now what? I don't know. Wait. Maybe Manny's a nickname the way Gabby is short for Gabriella. Yeah. Manny could be a nickname for how about Emmanuel? A name with man in it. Let's do it. Here's one. Chavez, Manuela. Yeah, Manny could be a nickname for Manuela. Page uh, 122. I'll write it down. Okay, let's see here. Here's one. Guide, Manfred, page 129. Look, Cusack Emmanuel, page 152. But which Manny sent the threatening cartoon? Well, the rest of the clue that Ghost Rider sent us about Manny was all the right moves. Sounds like some type of slogan. Yeah, these kids have activities listed next to their names. Maybe we can make a connection here. Let's check it out. Manuela Chavez, can you believe I'm graduating from high school already? I'll miss everyone, especially my friends in Girls Track, French Club, and the Breakdancing Club. Breakdancing Club? That takes a lot of moves. Yeah, I think it's her. Not so fast. We have two more names. Let's see, Pedro. Here. Farewell me, Drawing Club, Photography Club, President of the Chess Club. Check me. Chess. You have to make the right moves in chess to win. Yeah, and drawing. 
Someone who likes to draw. Like, say, the cartoonist who sent Lenny the threatening cartoon with a drawing of us. Let's see if there's a picture of this dude with his uh, chess club. Manny guy with a chess trophy. And a sweatshirt that says all the right moves. So, the person who sent us that threatening cartoon is Manfred Manny Geitz. Bam and gag. Bam and gag. Those in my way will be bound and gagged.